unique ritual in Buddha is Cham, which is a traditional dance warding off evil spirits and praying for blessings. Tatsan, the monastery, which hangs 3,000 meters high on the cliff, is a sacred place for Buddhists. Taksan means tiger's nest. In Bhutan, it is said that Guru Rinpoche, who introduced Tibetan Buddhism to Bhutan, flew here on the back of a tiger. It's a four-hour trip climbing up and down to visit Taksan. But for many visitors, it's well worthy to explore the legend of Guru Rinpoche. They're conserving, you know, what they have, and and they're preserving their culture and, and they're trying to improve uh, the life of people. They're building roads. Tourism contributes to two percent of Bhutan's annual revenues, and it is the second largest source of national income. But even so, the government is not eager to further promote the industry. They impose a relatively high daily charge of 200 U.S. dollars on a visitor and control the number of tourists to around 10,000 per year. This is part of its efforts to protect the culture and environment of the country. The people are bringing money in our country, but that's for good for our country. But I can't explain it properly. There are not many hotels nor restaurants catering foreign tourists. An occasion of a globalization, such as McDonald's or Starbucks, doesn't exist here. Bhutan's government knows the country cannot accommodate too many foreign visitors. That's why the country has only one airport since they had the first airplane 25 years ago and allow only two arrivals daily. Nonetheless, Bhutan is playing a second airport on the eastern side of the country to meet rising demand. Construction of the new airport is expected to be completed in two years. Bhutan does not promote tourism business, but its unique culture has attracted a growing number of people. There has been a very steady increase in uh, tourist arrivals uh, over the last uh, eight years, I can say, because the uh, last seven years I've been here. And uh, it has, uh, tourism has, the uh, number of travelers have increased. Uh. Bhutan's government also demands that the exteriors of all hotels must follow the traditional design and the hotels must build their own wastewater treatment systems. The rule also goes for the few foreign enterprises. At the time of our visit, Taiwanese soprano Zhang Mingru, who currently resides in Europe, held a real Western concert in this Oriental country. They don't have many chances to come into contact with the outside world. They don't have, at least currently, any Western music teachers. Western music is a novelty to many locals, but unlike some poor countries that consider their own culture as backward and are abandoning it, Bhutan is in no rush to catch up with the rest of the world. They are prudent in tourism development and they value the preservation of the environment. With such philosophy, the Bhutanists develop its unique culture they are proud of. TITV Weekly.